What's up guys, this is Sam the Dapper Tiger here. I'm a part-time reseller and today I'm gonna to share my Thrift 30 challenge results with you guys. Welcome to the jungle. Why not? I started this challenge, it feels like, forever ago, and with everything that's going on outside, it feels like this happened in a galaxy far, far away. So this was the Thrift 30 challenge started by Gorgeous, Block Vintage, and Emily Conway. I'm gonna put a card to the video up here. Basically, this was the last time I got to go to the thrift store once Illinois put in their stay-at-home orders, and Goodwills around the state became non-essential stores. So the first item I was able to sell for the challenge was this Logitech PS2 NASCAR race wheel controller. I sold it for $38, the buyer paid for shipping, and I had to pay a fee of $3.80. That leaves me a profit of $34.20. The second thing I was able to sell was Skyrim for the PS4, it was a special edition. Um, I sold it for $18, the buyer paid for shipping, I paid $1.80 in fees, leaving me with a profit of $16.20. So with those two sales, I was able to make a profit of $21.88. I am at least in the black, which is good. So another sale that I wanted to share that has nothing to do with the Thrift 30 challenge was this Lego Space Classic Starship that I sold. This was part of the Lego haul that I had just dropped the other day. I'm gonna put a card to that video up here. I sold that set almost within a minute of listing it on Macari. I sold that for $55. Um, the buyer paid for shipping. I paid Macari $5.50 in fees, leaving me a profit of $49.50. I'm slowly chipping away at the $500 I spent for the Lego haul. In my last video, I said that I needed to sell one piece for at least $20 to double my money. And so far, so good. I didn't realize how many vintage Lego pieces that John had left me. So I had a blast listing them all. Uh, only 50 more to list today. So all in all, I'm pretty excited that I was at least able to sell some stuff. Um, I was able to cover my $28.52 tab and I was able to profit $21.88. Another update, we actually found Rona's owners. They came and knocked on our door yesterday. Her real name is Gray. We like Rona better. We were lucky enough to take her in and have her company for a few days. We're happy that we were able to bring her in because it snowed the next three days after we picked her up. And ultimately we were able to reunite her with her family. Uh, hopefully we we're able to see her again in the future. They're only our neighbors, so they're a couple doors down. That's what I got for today. I want to thank you guys for tuning into the channel. My name is Sam the Dapper Tiger and if you like videos on reselling or just finding things around the house to make yourself a couple extra bucks, especially during a time like this, please like, comment, and subscribe below. Until next time, peace.